Hey everyone, how are you doing? This is Helton's Computer Repair here with another quick tutorial. In this tutorial, I'll be showing you how to enable or disable Cortana in Windows 10. Now, there'll be a couple ways how I can do this. First one will be done for Windows 10 Pro, Enterprise, or Education Edition of the operating system. And if yours is any of those three, then you would have to continue on this video, and I'll probably give you the link for a skip through, and go into Registry Editor that will allow you to still get this same trick to work. So let's go ahead and jump right into it. So the first thing you do is pretty much go ahead and jump to the start menu. Um, technically, if you don't have a start menu, there's a search engine right there too. So you're gonna get to the same location. And you're gonna go ahead and type in group policy. And this is what will come up right here. It says group, edit group policy. Go ahead and select it. And this is what you should see on your computer. I'm going to go ahead and expand this for you. I'm going to expand this too. That you'll be able to see it fully. And what you're going to need to do is go ahead and go to computer configurations right here. On to administrative templates. Then to Windows components. And then on to search. That is right here. Once you get into that list, you're going to look for a file that's called Allow Cortana. And what we're going to do is select it. And if we press Disable, that will disable Cortana. Now, this may not be officially be done until you restart the system. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and give it a try instead of just signing out. Well, I'll go ahead and show you. Go ahead and sign out. Oh, it's prompting me like that. Let's go ahead and trick this. And sign out. And let me jump right into it. And let's see if Cortana is still there. And it looks like Cortana is now removed from the list. And it's not there anymore. Pretty simple. Now, if you want to go back and you want to get it back on there, you'll go to, again, type in group policy. I just typed in group and it came up. And you're going to go ahead and expand this again. Administrative templates. And then again, we're going to go into, if I'm correctly, Windows components. And then into, where is it at? Search, if I'm correctly. And then where it says allow Cortana, we're going to go ahead and just put it back to not configured. If you want it to be default to be enabled, you can go ahead and enable it too. And it should be good. So let me go ahead and sign out again and to show you that Cortana will be coming back. And here we are loading up. And here's Cortana there again. Now, if this does not work for you for the first one by using group policy, you probably don't have the ability to do that. Then we're going to go ahead and continue and go ahead and go to the start menu or the search bar and pretty much the same location. And what you're going to do is type in reg edit. And this is what you should see, the registry editor. And you'll probably be prompt to go ahead and press yes. I'm going to go ahead and expand this again. And we're then going to choose local machine, each key local machine. And then we're going to go to software, and then to policies, then to Microsoft, then Windows. Let's just see it slide down a little bit more for you. And then next you're going to go to Windows search. And technically I do not see Windows search here. So if it is not there, then we would probably have to create that folder. So let's go ahead and go there. Press new key. And it's going to be called Windows Search. And then from that point, we're going to go ahead and right click and create a new D word. And it'll be the 32-bit value. And we're going to name this allow. Cortana. And we're going to go ahead and to leave this to be disabled, we're going to leave a zero there. 
simple as that. So right now we see Cortana. I'm going to go ahead and X this out. And then I'm going to go ahead and sign back out and jump back in and see if Cortana has been disabled. And you just saw that Cortana just actually just disappeared right now when we just came up here on Registry Edit. So now we're going to go ahead and show you again. If you want to bring back Cortana, you'll go to the same steps. Go into search bar or the search group and type in reg edit. Go ahead and select it. Again, you could be prompted. Press yes. And then remember we were just last at. If not, again, you'll go to the same locations. It shows it right here. Local machine, software, policies, Microsoft, Windows, and Windows search folder. And we're just going to dis to allow this there's two options that you can do. You can put a number one that will enable Cortana to appear back again. Or the second one is that you can just delete the file. And technically you don't need the folder either. You can delete that one too and press yes. And we're going to go ahead and X this out. I'm going to go ahead and sign out again. Sign back into the computer. And here is Cortana back again. And that's pretty much it. Thank you for watching from Helton's Computer Repair, and I will see you on the next tutorial. Thanks for watching, guys. If you just like this video, then hit that button. But if you like it and you want to see more, hit that like button. Get subscribed, comment, and tell us what other tech videos you want to see. Consider checking out our merch store, link in the video description. And for the rest, I will see you on the next video.